so today we are going to try Colombian food here in Houston, Texas. So we have Mi Pueblito right behind us and shout out to Chris for recommending this place to us. I have heard nothing but good things. We're going to give you guys a full tour of the restaurant. We're also going to give you guys some insight on what to order and they also have a bakery and I think they also have live music. Chance to see that, we're going to share it and hopefully you check it out yourself, come over here and uh, experience really good Colombian food. So let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Andreas, whose family owns Mi Pavolito restaurant. Uh, he's going to talk a little bit about the inspiration behind uh, the restaurant's idea and a little bit more about Colombian food. Hey guys, uh, my name is Andres. Well, Mi Pavolito started in the year 2000. It was uh, my uncle's idea. Uh, he used to be an ontologist okay. and then one of his, one of his friends, uh, he was selling this restaurant. It was a pretty small restaurant back then. Okay. Uh, our uncle, Oscar, he came in and then he started with all the business. Uh, the business was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's been getting bigger since that. I mean, it's, it's been incredible actually because right now we have another location too. It's in Katy. I've heard. Which is I've pretty heard. amazing, yeah. yeah. Uh, then, well, first they built the bar. Now they, then they expanded the kitchen, the new rooms. Yeah. Then three years ago, we just uh, made the bakery, which is pretty cool as well. Our plates are pretty natural. Mm -hmm. We don't put any extra flavors in it. It's just the, it's just the food flavor, you okay. know? Colombian food is, is pretty gourmet, actually. Uh, we famous because of empanadas. Uh, sure. We are pretty big on that. Uh, okay. We actually now sell empanadas to HEV, though. Oh, wow. So it's, uh, we have also bandeja paisa. It's, it's a pretty regular plate. It's got um, a lot of rice, beans as well. And most of it is uh, steak and pork belly with pork sausage and we put an egg on top which is delicious and then the vegetarian part will be uh, avocado which is pretty healthy too. So it's <laughs> like a mix of everything and people love that. Should try is empanadas. Empanadas? Yeah, we, uh, we're famous because of it and then most people should come here and, and, and empanadas taste for the viewers, could you explain, you know, what's inside and, and, and what are the different fillings that there are? Is it spicy? Yeah, well, it's it's all made of corn. Okay. It's pretty cool though. Uh, it's got uh, beef, uh, one of the flavors, which is the most uh, popular one is that one. Okay. Uh, but we also have chicken, okay. we have cheese, we have vegetarians. Okay. Uh, we have veggie one oh, nice. as well. We have Hawaiian, which is ham, cheese, and Hawaiian. pineapple. Wow. And we have full pork. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And um, it's a pastry, right? So you, you, you eat it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or is it just... You can eat it at any time, actually. The ones we're selling right now at HEB, you can bake them, so okay. you can eat them at any time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So the ones at HEB, if someone wants to buy some, um, is it is it like in the frozen section, or is it freshly made, or...? It is in the frozen section. Okay. Yes. And then this one is amazing. Okay. Uh, this one over here, the beef barbecue. And this one, chicken jalapeno. It's really good stuff. And we have the cheese one as well. You're gluten free. Really? Yeah, this is pretty amazing. So if you if you can't make it out to Mi Pueblito, you can always take a little bit home from HEB and enjoy it from your home. So uh, that's awesome, that's awesome. I had no idea y'all had that. Yeah, so, yeah. Cool, well, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes and, and seeing the kitchen and, and, and seeing maybe some of the pre preparation that goes into making the awesome food here at Mi Pueblito. So join us, okay? Come on in, guys.
so yuca is in the top here. It looks like a potato, right? Well, yuca is actually a root. So it's under the hood, you know? So you, you pull it up and then uh, then you have to cook it so many times. And then after you just get it uh, steamed. And then whenever you get it steamed, you can fry it or just serve it like that. It's, pretty, it's, it's, it's a pretty tasty thing. We have corn, we have plantains as well in there, and potato. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. The oxtail meat is just so. Oh my god. Soft, right? It's very tender. It melts in your mouth, really. You don't even need to chew it. Beef. <laughs> this is veggie, mm -hmm. chicken, cheese, and beef. Okay, so these two are the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's a bit of a traveler. She she speaks Spanish. Oh yeah. Uh, she's Where are you from? German. Oh, that's pretty cool. But I also live in Mexico. You live in Mexico. Oh, okay. The vegetarian one this and one? the cheese, cheese one. Yeah. These two. Well, the cheese one is good, but it's better the ones I have made. Yeah. What, what is the sauce actually? Uh, it's called ahi. Ahi. Yeah. It's and it's like ahi. a salsa or? It's like a salsa. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Crunchy outside, mm -hmm. so it's very crunchy. Wow, I might have to take some of these home with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should take them. Really good stuff in there. Can we have a bite? Have to. It's, it's his favorite. <laughs> it's his favorite. Not too much. It's good, right? So, we have the bandeja paisa and the tilapia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and this is made with the coconut oh, with coconut sauce. With the coconut sauce. Looks so good. <laughs> And then you put the rice on top too of the beans and okay. then mix them up with the egg and everything. Ah, okay. Let's try that. It's our honor. Hi. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
What are your well, top three? My top three? Oh, no. I love this. We're gonna, right Andrea's favorites right here. This one is my top three. Okay, that's uh, the... Torna de Almohavana. Oh, that's Almohavana so cool. Almohavana is this one right here. So they mix all, like, all, all, all the maize and everything, and they make a, they make a cake. This one over here is uh, guava. This one is made of guava. It's a roscan. It's really good one. It's really, really good. I love that one. But my favorite ever is that one over there. There's one on here. So you it's have a cake. The it's a it's a strawberry cake. Brazo this is my favorite forever. Did I say that right? Brazo de rey. Hi guys, what an experience here at Mi Pueblito. Um, thank you so much, Andreas, for the grand tour of your family restaurant. Yeah, I'm really full. I tried some things that were exquisite, I've never had before. Um, so thanks again for that experience. And again, if you want some authentic Colombian food in Houston, be sure to check this place out. They are the best. Um, we're finishing it up with some coffee from Colombia. You're not gonna be let down on that either. So I'll give you a little pick me up after this heavy meal. And um, as you heard the live music, we're gonna link that information below. Such a such a nice experience here. I can only say we will be back here. Absolutely, absolutely. And here's some of the band members here. How are you doing? Say hi to the world. <laughs> Very good music, thank you. So some of the guys there that um, wanted to say hi and wow, again, it's just such a such a nice experience to have on a Friday like this, you know? And, and this is Houston. Live music. I felt like I was in Colombia here for right? So and we've been to Colombia, so so we know what it's like and, and this place is definitely a, a a little piece of Colombia. So alright, well thank you so much for watching and um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.